in this vacant commercial lot right in the heart of World Golf Village, Reverb Church is planning an expansion. The church says it plans to hold services there as soon as this winter. On your side is Jessica Clark toured that former golf store and spoke with the pastor. He has big plans. So the inside of this will be the auditorium. So Pastor Brian Lamoureux, his wife and congregation members of Reverb Church had dreams for this space for years, thinking it would make a great spot for a church. This is a, actually a miracle building. This building used to be the PGA Pro Stop shop, located in what was the bustling heart of World Golf Village's business district, right across the pond from the World Golf Hall of Fame. We came in here and looked at it years ago. In the last 23 years or so since the store opened, businesses started to vacate the district and the PGA Pro Stop shop left too, leaving empty storefronts, all except for the Caddy Shack restaurant that's still open. But Reverb Church still had a vision. We'd come over and peek in the windows and dream a little about maybe what, what it could be, what could happen here. And now it's happening here. Reverb Church has bought the 32,000 square foot space and is remodeling it to be a church that can hold almost 1,000 people. It's only a couple of places in World Golf that would actually fit uh, the size of church that we were hoping to be. For the past 10 years, Reverb Church has been meeting at a nearby school auditorium, but with this new spot. I mean, we'll be able to do ministry seven days a week. And some people believe that if the church brings in more foot traffic to this area, then businesses might start moving back into these empty storefronts. Uh, as I talked to the owners who actually sold us the place, um, I just shared with them, hey, this is our desire. We want to see this place filled with life again. The pastor believes moving his church into this empty building is an opportunity to share his Christian walk with many more and to help boost the livelihoods of the people in the area too. We take old things and uh, we want to make it new. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.